what's going on you know who it is you know what it is all right man peep game man um man shout out to russell westbrook man and congratulations man on two points uh basically winning the league mvp um i thought you won it i thought you should have got it so they got it right i know james harding you know and Kawhi leonard was uh candidates but i think they got it right i'm i'm sure they got it right you know russell westbrook average uh triple double for the season so that's big man and once again shout out to russell westbrook man and also shout out to russell westbrook if it's true that he just uh landed himself a 200 million dollar contract hey man get your paper man straight up now i know i've been critical of uh russell westbrook man on certain aspects of his game but russell westbrook is a phenomenal player man he's a great player and i like watching Russ russell westbrook play now does his play translate to championships we don't know yet but so far it hasn't you know unfortunately he couldn't win with kevin durant and kevin durant felt he couldn't win with russell westbrook so he left to go to golden state and kevin durant wins instantly so that's the only thing with russell westbrook can you win a championship if you know with russell westbrook and does Russell Westbrook have to alter his game a little bit to be able to get people to come there and see can they win a championship with Russell Westbrook? And don't come on here saying I'm hating on Russell Westbrook. I'm not. I'm giving him all the praise in the world. That's the only thing I'm just saying about the dude. Does his game translate into championships? Because in the scheme of things, it is about trying to win a ring. I mean, they got close a couple of times. Possibly, you know, unfortunately, they didn't beat Cle. I mean, excuse me, they didn't beat the Miami Heat in the finals, and then uh, they was up three to one on the Warriors and the Western Conference Finals. Uh, they ended up blowing the lead, and the Warriors ended up winning the Conference Finals, Western Conference Finals, but the Warriors didn't win. But to make a long story short, I saw something very. You know, something good with Russell Westbrook that, you know, that was, you know, you know, a sight for sore eyes. You hear all this talk about absentee fathers and, you know, the the black family structure. And, you know, when Russell Westbrook gave his speech, both his parents was there. You know, his mom and his dad, his, I think his brother and his sisters was there. So it was good to see that. Because keep in mind, I told you that they overblown that absentee, absentee black father shit. They blow it out of proportion. A lot of these NFL basketball and baseball players, they have fathers, but a lot of their fathers, they choose not to be in the limelight, you know. But it was good to see both his parents there, you know. I didn't even know uh, he was a junior and that his uh, father was senior, and that's cool to see. Both his parents was there, you know, and he thanked everybody. He thanked his wife, you know. So, I mean, even though... Russell Westbrook dresses very weird. Um, but it was good to see that whole picture, the whole black family structure picture. And see, that's what I'll be saying about, you know, where you got Russell Westbrook's father who played the b background. You know, you don't hear a peep from him. And then you got these clowns like LeBar Ball. Every time somebody shove a mic in his face, he got something stupid to say. Or he, you know, want to bring attention to himself. And then you got these clowns that always defend him and shit. And see, that's the point that I was trying to make. I'll take a Russell Westbrook Sr. or a Gary Russell Sr. over a LeVar Ball any day of the week.